beyond a reasonable doubt. But Grant Woods, the former Attorney General of Arizona, says the case should never have gone to trial. The prosecutor's got to look at it and say, hey, is this the sort of thing that we're really talking about when we're talking about bribery? Because what the public needs to know here is there's no allegation that Don Siegelman ever put one penny in his pocket. Richard Scrushy did make donations totaling $500,000 to that education lottery campaign. And after serving on the hospital board under three previous governors, Scrushy was reappointed by Siegelman. But Wood says that's politics, not bribery. You do a bribery when someone has a real personal benefit. Not, hey, I would like for you to help out on this project, which I think is good for my state. If you're going to start indicting people and putting them in prison for that, then you might as well just uh, build nine or ten new federal prisons because that happens every day in every state house, in every city council, and in the Congress of the United States. What you seem to be saying here is that this is analogous to giving a great deal of money to a presidential campaign, and as a result, you become ambassador to Paris. Exactly. That's exactly right. Siegelman was campaigning in the 2006 Democratic primary as he went to trial. We're going to turn this bus into what we call the night shift, because after, after, after the trial every day, we're going to be hitting the trail every day. But he lost in the primary. After two months, the jury deadlocked twice, then voted to convict on its third deliberation. Many legal minds were shocked when federal judge Mark Fuller at sentencing sent Siegelman directly to prison without allowing the usual 45 days before reporting. He had him handcuffed. He had him manacled around his legs like we do with, with crazed killers and whisked off to prison just like that. Now, what does that tell you? That, that tells you that this was personal. You would not do that to a former governor. Would you do that to any white-collar criminal? No. I haven't seen it done. Help me understand something. You're blaming the Republican administration for this prosecution. You're saying it was a political prosecution. You are a Republican. How do I reconcile that? We're Americans first. And um, you got to call it as you see it. You got to stand up for what's, what's right in this country. Karl Rove and others at the White House were subpoenaed to testify before Congress, but they refused to appear. And the Justice Department has refused to turn over hundreds of documents in the case. Don Siegelman has six years and eight months to go on his sentence.